Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1849 shilling, the coin we see on screen now. Firstly, I'll talk to you about the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here is the reverse design, a lovely design, a classic design done by Jean-Baptiste Merlin and was used for many, many years. It sees the word as one shilling in capitals in the middle, giving the denomination, a crown, a lovely St. Edward's crown at the top. This design is then encircled by a wreath made of two branches. To the left is a Scots pine branch and to the right is a branch of an oak tree with oak leaves and acorns on it. These are then tied together at the bottom with a nice ribbon, and below the knot is the date, 1849, the year the coin was made. We then also see a little stylized design there above the knot and below the words one shilling just to add some more detail and remove some of the just empty spaces on the coin. Now around the design there's also some little teeth, milling or beads going the whole way around the rim. These are all there to prevent the coin from being clipped and metal content and being shaven off of the coin, which is illegal. Moving on to the obverse, now we can see a portrait of the young Queen Victoria. This is the young head portrait or the bun head portrait done by William Wine. The initials WW can be seen on the truncation of the Queen's neck. Around her is a legend in Latin. This reads Victoria de Gratia Britannia Reg FD. This then translates to English as Victoria by the grace of God, Queen of Britain and Defender of the Faith. Her title is Monarch and also referencing the divine right of monarchs as well. She is not crowned in this portrait and has no laureate in her hair, but we can see two ribbons there as well, and of course her hair in a bun, giving the name the bun head for obvious reasons. And again, we can see little teeth milling or beads the whole way around, making sure the coin does not get clipped and metal content can't be stolen. So there is the design, and now we'll move on to the facts and figures of the 1849 shilling. A coin minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of 0.925 silver, 92.5% pure silver or sterling silver, as all silver coins were before 1920 when they were debased to 50% for circulation use. The weight of the coin is 5.65 grams, as was standardized in 1816 during the Great Recoinage, and the diameter standardized the same year to 23 millimeters, making it a fairly average sized coin, a little on the smaller side compared to others in chains. Speaking of small, we have a very low mintage of only 645,480 making it one of the top 10 rarest shillings to ever circulate and has a very, very low mintage indeed. The shilling coin is of course a 12 pence piece. This is then one shilling and that is one twentieth of a pound. So there are 20 shillings to the pound under the old pre-decimal money system. And back in 1849 when the coin was released, one shilling was equal to eight pounds and 13 pence. So a very, quite a high buying power coin. More valuable in change then than even a five pound note today. So a great piece of cash to carry back in 1849 and then demonetized in 1990 over a hundred years later after serving as a five pence for a short while after decimalization. Now then, after all these years, what is the value of this coin to a collector today? Well, in poor condition, it would sell for around 25 pounds, 100 pounds in fine condition, 200 pounds in extremely fine condition, and 450 pounds in uncirculated grade. So a high premium year for shillings as it is a low minted and rare date and a key date for anyone doing a shilling date run. So there we go. Please do comment down below if you have an 1849 shilling or any other rare years of shillings you may have within your collection. And as well, please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already, as that means a lot to us and will help us out greatly. And a big thank you for watching to the very end of the video. That means a lot as well. And we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on the channel. Bye.